Hello everyone. Well, the dollar brushed off lower than expected housing numbers Wednesday as just another weather-related disappointment and the U.S. currency gained against most of its counterparts, both G10 and emerging markets. First, uh, the minutes of the recent FOMC meeting show that the committee is firmly committed to tapering down its bond buying program. The debate isn't about tapering anymore, but rather about the appropriate pace, pace of tightening interest rates at some point in the future. Against that background, uh, U.S. interest rates edged up Wednesday, which supported the dollar. Then, during the Asian day, the China HSBC market flash manufacturing PMI for February fell well below estimates and further into contractionary territory. With more trouble br brewing in the China trust sector, uh, market fears, and my fears, I must admit too, about a hard landing in China are increasing. Uh, the China data hit the Australian dollar and New Zealand dollars very hard, as might be expected. Aussie dollar was down a bit more than the Kiwi, and I'd expect to see that pattern continue. I remain bearish on the Aussie in general, and particularly Aussie Kiwi, as I think the changes going on in China are quite deep and won't be resolved uh, just by the PBOC coming to the rescue with a liquidity injection. On the other hand, the China data turned dollar yen around, and the yen wound up as the only currency to show a noticeable gain against the dollar as the Tokyo stock market fell. This despite a record trade deficit in January with an unhealthy pattern. Exports less than expected and imports more than expected. Selling Aussie yen might be a good way to benefit from the opposite impact that news of a China slowdown has on those two currencies. Uh, the biggest loser overnight, though, was the Canadian dollar, which collapsed after Canadian wholesale sales data fell more than expected. There may also be some Canadian... Some Canadian dollar selling related to a large M&A transaction that's going through. Market participants have trimmed their short CAD positions somewhat, according to the Commitment of Traders report. That suggests investors have some room to get back into the trade now. Uh, more fe of February's PMIs are due out during the European day today. Uh, the Eurozone preliminary manufacturing PMI for February is expected to be unchanged, and the preliminary service sector and composite figures figures are expected to be a little bit higher. All told, the figures may be modestly euro positive, but without a rise in Germany's uh, manufacturing PMI, it'll be hard for the market to get too, too excited about these. In the US, the initial jobless claims for the weekend ended uh, February 15th are expected at 335,000. That's down a bit from 339 previously, but it'll drive up the four week moving average up slightly uh, at the same time, the Philly Fed Business Activity Index for February is forecast to fall, another disappointment following the larger-than-expected drop in the Empire State Manufacturing Survey. That The combination of those two could be modestly dollar-negative, but it might be offset by an expected rise in the Conference Board Leading Index for January. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironethics.com. You can also like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Marshall Giller, head of Global FX Strategy at INFX, wishing you solid trading.